Do you call them both dad? Um, pops, you know, mm-hmm. pops and dad. I mean, it's it, it really, you know, I mean, different sometimes. It's a different you know? situation. Yeah. So hold on to your, hold on to your britches, and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. R&B singer Al B. Sure, the biological father of Sean Diddy Combs' adult stepson Quincy, seemingly implied the embattled hip-hop mogul was somehow tied to his mysterious coma in 2022, and the veteran singer is now urging his son to come home to him, following the recent series of unfortunate events surrounding Diddy's life. The 55-year-old off-on-your-own artist surprised those in attendance at the Equal Justice Now Awards in Los Angeles, where he announced an upcoming project about his life, and appeared to make reference to Diddy. We're going to be producing the Al B. Shore life story, the Grammy nominee told the crowd, as seen in a clip shared by TMZ. So, hold on to your britches, and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really going to need to call Homeland Security. You're really going to need to call Homeland Security. In the summer of 2022, Al B. collapsed and was rushed to the hospital where he fell into a coma that lasted more than two months. The cause of the incident has never been revealed. Reportedly, his elder son is now afraid the same thing may befall him. To those in the audience, Al B.'s mention of Homeland Security was seemingly a nod to federal agents recently raiding Diddy's properties in Los Angeles and Miami. The Department of Homeland Security confirmed the raids were part of a S. Tra King investigation. Federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. When asked about Diddy after his speech at the awards, Al B. told TMZ that he doesn't speak about another man's endeavors, but simply said he's glad his son wasn't there when all of the hoopla jumped off. Quincy's mom is the late model and actress Kim Porter, with whom Diddy was in an on and off relationship from 1994 until 2007. Diddy has ever since raised Quincy as his own son. The entire situation is unfortunate. I don't speak about another man's business, Al B added. All I know is that I'm working on the life story and the way I got to be in a coma, stay tuned. Several people have accused Diddy of using his sons as bait during the raid, seemingly prompting Al B to ask Quincy to go live with him. Justin and King Combs, two of Diddy's sons, were recently pictured returning and quickly leaving again their father's Los Angeles home after being put in handcuffs during a raid of the mansion. Photos show at least two men were put in handcuffs as police searched the $40 million mansion in the upscale neighborhood of Holmby Hills. Sources told ABC News that two of Diddy's sons were detained and then released without charges. TMZ identified them as 30-year-old Justin and 25-year-old King. The brothers appeared to return to the property separately and gathered their belongings. Justin arrived around 10.30 p.m. local time and left shortly after, then King arrived a few hours later and promptly left. Armed guards were stationed outside Diddy's Miami mansion complex a day after it was raided by federal agents in an alleged human traying probe. Investigators swarmed Diddy's two neighboring properties on Swish Star Island, wrenching open an ornate metal gate to get inside. A section of copper latticework was ripped away, and the 15-foot-high doors were left so buckled that they couldn't be closed afterward. Investigators had left the scene the following morning, but private guards in blacked-out SUVs blocked the driveway to stop anyone accessing the houses worth around $82 million combined. The two guards, dressed head-to-toe in black and wearing black surgical masks, refused to say whether Diddy was inside. I don't know anything about that, said one. A second growled at reporters and warned them not to walk on to Diddy's property. The Grammy winner, who is being accused in several lawsuits of s abuse and s traying was not seen at his home while the raid took place. Armed agents from the Department of Homeland Security entered luxury properties on both the east and west coasts of the United States, with video footage showing helicopters circling overhead. The agents, who were wearing vests, gathered in the home's backyard near the pool. Multiple officers were seen carrying bags and boxes of evidence to a van with assistance from police dogs. A command post was set up outside the house, and agents were still entering and leaving hours after the search began. A man accused of being Diddy's drug mule was arrested trying to board a plane at the same time the rapper's mansion was raided by police. Brendan Paul, 25, was arrested by Miami-Dade police, alongside Homeland Security agents, at Opa Laka Airport in Miami. A spokesperson for Homeland Security Investigations repeated their statement when asked about Diddy's whereabouts. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners, the spokesperson said.
Diddy, now 54, has three children with the late actress Kim Porter, King and 16-year-old twins Delilah Starr and Jesse James, and he adopted Porter's son Quincy Brown from a prior relationship. His other children are Justin, whose mother is Misa Hylton, and he had 17-year-old Chance with Sarah Chapman and 17-month-old Love Sean with Dana Tran. The rapper's whereabouts are unknown, and information about his personal Love Air LLC Gulfstream 5 jet is no longer available on the plane tracker service FlightAware. This aircraft is not available for public tracking per request from the owner-operator, that's according to the website. The Department of Homeland Security and other local law enforcement offices have not been able to comment on Diddy's location. His jet took off from the Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles last Monday. The rapper was then spotted around 3 p.m. at the Miami Opa Laca Executive Airport, just a few hours after the raid started. The besieged rapper was seen pacing around the customs office at the airport, though he was not being detained in any fashion. He was reportedly waiting on others in his party, who were being questioned by federal officials. He was said to be never cuffed or taken into custody, and despite his other plane heading to Antigua, Diddy is not said to be on the run at all. The rapper's private jet was tracked to the Caribbean island of Antigua last Monday, reported TMZ, but there was no indication he was on board. Diddy was said to be boarding a separate private jet in Opalaka when the feds arrived. The inquiry was being directed by Homeland Security Investigations agents in New York, where he was accused by a former girlfriend, R&B singer Cassie Ventura, in a lawsuit filed in federal court in November of engaging in S. Tra King. She alleged Diddy controlled and abused her for over a decade, as well as plying her with drugs, beating her, and forcing her to have S with multiple male friends while he watched and recorded. Diddy has denied the allegations and settled with Cassie out of court. The lawsuit by the singer was one of at least four civil complaints brought in recent months leveling S. Ewell assault allegations against Puffy. The rapper and music mogul has been fighting various legal battles, including one against an unnamed woman who claimed he and two friends S. Ewell assaulted her when she was 17. Joy Dickerson Neal, another accuser, claims the bad boy founder slipped something into her drink and S. Ewell assaulted her in 1991 while she was a student at Syria. Syracuse University. She alleges that he filmed the attack and shared the video with his social circle. Another Jane Doe alleges that she and a friend were R by Diddy and his friend the singer-songwriter Aaron Hall in the early 1990s. Not ending there, record producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed a bombshell lawsuit against Diddy, claiming his boss subjected him to a year of groping and constant unsolicited touching of his privates. So, it's really not strange Al B wants his son out of Diddy's life. A few days ago, the singer made a public message for his son, Quincy Brown. In a short but loud Instagram post, the 55-year-old crooner, born Albert Brown, let it be known that the door is wide open for his son to be with him as Sean Diddy Combs, the man who raised the young actor is dealing with serious legal and personal troubles presently. Come home, the door is wide open, he wrote under an old photo with Quincy. You're safe here, son. I love you, pops. You're biological. Commenters had mixed reactions to his message, but the majority felt it should have been a text or a call versus a public post, accusing him of looking for attention. Some argue this point by claiming the singer, born Albert Joseph Brown, was absent for the majority of Quincy's life while Diddy stepped up in his life. The father and son haven't had the best relationship over the years, especially after Quincy, 32, wrote his father an open letter in 2020 addressing his absence. Albert Brown, also known as Al B. Sure, is my biological father, but Sean Combs, also known as Diddy, has been a father figure in my life for as long as I can remember, his letter started. Sean Combs is the person whom I look up to and appreciate as a father. He is the one who helped mold me into the person I am today, and I will always try to live up to his expectations. He has always been supportive of me, and I will forever love and respect him," he wrote. As far as my biological father goes, the spitting image is all I have taken from him. Throughout my life, I've always wondered about him. Where was he? What was he doing? And most importantly, was he even thinking about me? The absence of my father has given me a better understanding of what type of man I'm going to be. I am grateful for my mom's love, support, guidance, and for her strength. Al B responded and took accountability, saying that his job was to fix it. He had Quincy with the late Kim Porter in 1991. Quincy knows that he grew up under extraordinary circumstances. Speaking with People magazine about the Paramount series Family Legacy, narrated by the rapper, who also appears with brothers Christian King Combs and Justin Dior Combs, to talk about their dad, Sean Diddy Combs, 
The budding artist said, witnessing hard work his whole life has been inspiring. I think I've been a sponge and now I do so much, he said of Diddy, whom he met as a child when the producer began dating late model Kim Porter. One of my passions, I'm very much into the art of acting, and then there's music, but just seeing how he's able to handle and juggle all these things, I took that from him as my most major takeaway. Though Quincy split his time between sides of his family in New York and Georgia as a kid, he got the full experience of growing up under the hip-hop mogul's wing when he and his siblings would join Diddy on tour. I think my pops felt safer with us there no matter what it was. He needed his family there, and I think having your kids as your road dogs was a win-win. It made everything go better," said Quincy. The actor is also interested in ushering new talent into the industry, with sights set on his 17-year-old twin sisters, Delilah Starr and Jesse James, whom he features in the video for his single, Face Off. We don't need no contracts, no paper, but I'm my sister's manager," he laughed. I'm like the uncle dad manager protector. I'm claiming it. I want to be able to really guide them. I want them to really know the layers of everything you can do. They've expressed to me their passions, where they see themselves. So I'm kind of bringing them along on my ride a little bit because in a minute, it's going to springboard into their own journey. His mom, Porter, died of pneumonia in 2018 at the age of 47. I'm my mom's son, so therefore there's so much life for me to expand on off of her life. And that journey hasn't even started yet, which is the best part about it," he revealed. What my mom's legacy is representative of is beyond words. That's gonna really come to life soon. So, with this latest drama, will Quincy finally reconcile and go back to his father, Al B? Time will tell, until then, all we can do is wait. And that's it from us today, until next time, thanks for watching.